All right, here's the video. I am finally explaining my theory about Junora being a reincarnation of Ira. Warning, spoilers for if you have not seen up to a new spiritual age, I'm not spoiling anything beyond that. So if you've seen everything up to a new spiritual age, you are fine. If you have not, spoiler alerts. Okay, here we go. <coughs> if you remember in the Winter Solstice Part 1 Spirit World, Iroh, when he was being taken to Bossing Say by the Earthbenders, he saw Aang riding Fang. And the Earthbenders didn't see him. They didn't see that because er, Aang was in the Spirit World. So, that's something Iroh can do that no one else can do. And then, in, I can't remember if it was the Waterbending Master or if it was in Siege of the North Part 1, but Zhao said to Iroh, Yes, I've heard the rumors of your journey to the spirit world. Iroh, at this point in the show, Iroh is the only person we know of other than the Avatar who has ever made a travel to um, uh, <clears throat> the spirit world. Then you jump to Legend of Korra. What does Kenjanora do in the guide episode? She sees spirits, and when Tenzin walks up, he doesn't. And then Tenzin can't get into the spirit world, but Janora can. Connections. Well, you may say something along the lines of, well, the Avatar gets reincarnated because of Rava. And I have thought of this. Rava may have unknowingly created a new spirit when she was training with Juan, the spirit of guidance to Rava. And she was the original Avatar's guide creating a second spirit that doesn't go regenerate like the Avatar does. You know, like, once the, once the, they die, they go into the next host. It's got to be like a way they still watch over Rava all the time, and then they decide, now's the time to strike. Here's where, I, where she needs help the most. He or she, or whatever gender the Avatar is. And you remember in um, uh, <coughs> the Avatar and the Fire Lord episode, um, uh, when they were going throughout all the, when Roku showed Aang all of his, um, uh, training. Let's see here. Um, uh, oh wait, no, before I get to that, I have to explain why he said this. Um, uh, Aang was from the air, was from the air nomads, and Iroh was his guide from the Fire Nation, the one right before, the one before him. Korra is from the Water Tribe, and Jinora is from the air nomads, the one right before her. Roku said in the Avatar and Fire Lord episode, my earthbending instructor was a lifelong friend. I'm pretty sure a lifelong friend would give you some advice. Maybe spiritual advice even. That's my theory about why Jinora and Iroh are the same. That they're both the guide to the Avatar. And that somehow Rava created this new spirit unknowingly of guidance. Mainly spiritual guidance. And that's why this special guide person, hence, you know, the episode of that title, The Guide, is able to cross over to the spirit world, because whatever gender that spirit is, I'm calling Rava a her, so, and Vatua he, <clears throat> it can pass through the spirit world as well. I mean, other people say that, like, air nomads, like, all air nomads, anyone with great spirituality can, but, I mean, that just, to me, defeats the purpose of the Avatar being a bridge, so that's my theory. If you don't agree with it, then I can't help you.